I just finished looking at some fossils and earth sciences. Um, now I'm just going back to college because I'm honestly really hungry. It's like gone past, way past my normal lunchtime. Some people look at you so weirdly when I'm walking around on my phone, like just talking to my phone, and they're like giving me these really horrible looks. I've got three potatoes here. Um, I'm not gonna eat this all today, although I probably could, not gonna lie, but I'm meal prepping for tomorrow because it's Friday and it's really busy tomorrow. So, look at the size of this potato though, guys. That is pretty big, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna cut all these up, make a whole load of chips so I have some for tomorrow as well, and it's gonna be all good. Okay, so those are my like chip lets or like little cube type things um that's for today um i'm gonna toss them in some spices in a minute these ones are the ones for tomorrow Ooh. yeah my arm really aches from cutting all that up it was a load of potato So now we're just going to mix it all together. I just want to make sure they're nice and coated. Smells really good. Ew, what is that? Okay, so they're all nicely coated now in the four spices. And they're just going to wait to go in the microwave now. Okay, so here is my prepped meal in my little lunchbox here. Uh-huh. And then here is my dinner for tonight. And that little space there is for ketchup. Aim, aim, Holly, aim, yes! There we go. That's enough to start. The sun is shining and I'm inside though because, um, yeah, I haven't been doing much stuff at the moment. I've just been taking it easy because obviously when you've had a nosebleed and especially a nosebleed the size that I did, it's good to just make sure that the tissue and everything probably heals before you like go and do like exercise or dance because it could like cause it to rupture again i don't really know but anyway i've got a dance rehearsal tonight so i'll go to that and that'll ease me back into it um but anyway for today the rest of today because it's currently like about three o'clock ten to three if you want to know precisely i am um, oh the sun uh -huh. For the rest of the day, I am going to, I need to write a, bio a biography, a short biography for Giselle, so that will go in the program next to my headshot, I think, and then, um, yeah, and then I'm going to edit my video for Sunday, get that ready, and then I'll probably do more work, and then I'll go to dance later, so that's kind of the plan, so yeah. Sit down in my seat. Okay, so 
we just had news from Bionatsky Facebook chat that we have delivery in our pigeonholes. Um, actually it was a while ago but I didn't go straight away so I'm going to go now, see what it is. I think it's probably going to be one of our mock papers back. So, I don't know how that's going to go. Collect that now. Is anyone going to see this sexy sock look? Or do we just risk it? We're gonna risk it. I literally don't know why I'm filming right now, but I feel like I need to capture all these stupid moments. I like just overslept. Like I heard my alarm, I must not have put the snooze on. So I've, it's like, I woke up at 10 to nine. It's now like, no, 10 to 10. It's now like basically 10. Not good, Holly. Oh, I just grabbed some bananas, shoved them in my bag. I'm gonna jump on my bike. My room is like a complete tip. <sighs> that was stressful. I got ready in like five minutes, no joke, and oh, can't do that again, Holly. But now, sort out the bed, sort out my room. I just passed my solo in my room again because I haven't been to a bigger space yet. But I had contemporary um, this afternoon at like 3.15. It's been put back an hour. I haven't been all term, so it was, it was weird to go there, but it was fun. And now I've got point work, so I'm gonna go to that. But my day's just been really like weird because obviously woke up late, had to rush out. It's just been a bit like, ugh. Don't really know what I'm doing. I'm still really tired, I think, from when I had my nosebleed and lost quite a lot of blood, so I'm still like a bit like, ugh, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, we're gonna go to dance now, and yeah. Don't know what I'm doing. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Sunday today, and I love Sundays because I don't really have any commitments. Well, today I have one thing. I need to go to a rehearsal. But anyway, it's Sunday, and that's great. As you know, let's go back here. I wear retainers um, every night because I did have braces like a few years back now um, and I just wanted to show you how I clean them. I don't buy a product that specifically cleans retainers. Um, I use a everyday household kind of product and use that to clean my retainers. I've been doing that for ages now and it works perfectly well when we go back to see our orthodontist he's always like wow your retainers are so clean in terms of cleanliness and like how um well kept they are they're always really impressed so i think it works pretty well okay so yes you'll need a mug um and you'll need some distilled malt vinegar it's just like distilled vinegar um so this is the like active cleaning ingredient and it's like an everyday household product so it is really good because the retainer bright stuff or anything specifically for cleaning retainers tends to be quite expensive normally and this is so cheap so it makes this method really good if you're a student on a budget and anyone can use it if they it like works perfectly well like you should definitely try it if you have retainers or need to clean something like that. So I just take them out and rinse them first. I tend to put them in this way. Oh, it's a new one. Oh, hello. Have your mug? Have your vinegar? Okay, so you just cover it in until it kind of like fills the retainers. And finally, you just add some warm water. Like you can boil a kettle and wait for it to cool quite a bit. Oh, I just go to my tap. Oh, that's quite nice and warm. It's quite, quite hot, but then quite not boiling otherwise 
so they will melt. Put in like about the same amount of water, so it's kind of like one-to-one -one basically. It doesn't really matter how long you leave them in the vinegar for, but I'll tend to do it while I'm like having my breakfast and getting dressed, so yeah. And then afterwards, oh yeah, afterwards then I'll clean them with a toothbrush and stuff, which I can show you as well. Hey guys! Okay, so I just had my breakfast and I got dressed, obviously. So they've been in there for about maybe an hour or something, I don't know. But it doesn't really matter how long you leave them for, like... They'll clean whatever, really. What I normally use, let's go in my cupboard, is some cotton buds and a little toothbrush, it's like a baby toothbrush. It's like a soft one, um, quite small. So I can like get in all the crevices. So I give them a little rinse. So I just wet that to moisten it up. Yeah, I do it every Sunday. Sometimes it can be a bit tedious because I've been doing it for so long now, but like it's really good to do it because they stay so clean if you do this and you keep on top of it because that's like everything you need to make it a habit okay so once you've kind of gone around with the cotton bud for a bit um you just get your toothbrush and then you just scrub them well not scrub too vigorously otherwise it might like damage them but you just use this again to do a another clean, basically. And it seems really long, this whole process, but it doesn't actually take too long. It's not that bad. It's the only way they're going to stay clean. You know, we want to maintain good oral hygiene standards. Like, nothing's worse than putting something dirty in your mouth. But yeah, I hope you found Holly's how-to of the week useful. My little cleaning hack for you guys. Look at that perfect swirl, oh my goodness. I just made an ice cream because I already wanted something refreshing, even though it's kind of cold, but I'm gonna have some grapes as well. Okay, so I'm at Murray Edwards for a rehearsal today and I don't know how to get to this room. I'll show you what it looks like. It's quite modern actually. I just parked my bike and now we're gonna go in, try and find this room. Murray Edwards, here we are. Guys, this is not cool. The chain came off my bike because these stupid bikes crammed them in next to mine so the chains come off so i've had to try and get it off and i've had i've got so much shopping with me it's not cool i now have oil over my hands everywhere it's not cool i'm gonna cycle back now hopefully oh nightmare okay so i have orange around my mouth i am so pleased with myself i just made my first like curry type thing and it tastes really good not gonna lie i added like sweet potato and beans and all different stuff like that um paired it with rice obviously because it's kind of like a curry type thing but look how good it looks i'm really pleased with myself it's the first time i've made something like that uh so much washing up i had to use three pans and everything that's why it took quite a long time and this is like stained yellow now because of my turmeric but hey ho okay so busy morning again but i have just packed my lunch for today um <clears throat> so this is my little lunch box which is really cute actually it's got this side it's got some salad in so spinach cucumber and tomatoes and this side i just made some porridge this morning and i put it in this tupperware put some plum and kiwi on it and i'm just gonna top it with some coconut i think yeah, I think I'll put some agave on it as well. Cycling in the rain, guys, is not fun. Oh the wind and rain actually like the wind was like blowing in my face there was rain everywhere and now i'm completely soaking wet pretty much which is not nice in the dark as well benefits of making big batches guys is that you have dinner for the next few days pretty much sorted yes i'm just eating it again yeah this bit of hair yeah needs to stay there This is the time I like when the sun's kind of shining and I'm in my room, um, but like around four o'clock, you know, you know the UK is going to be dark soon, so it's really sad. I hate that time when it's like the intermediate stage between like light and dark, so you can't really close the curtains yet. Don't like that stage at all. 
Right, off to the supervision now for biology of cells. I'm in a different group today because I normally have it at 6.25 in the evening. But our supervisor can't make the time, so I'm moving into a different group, which is earlier, which is in some ways better because I have a rehearsal this evening and I need to be there at 7.30. So five minutes would not have worked and I would have been late had I have had to go to my original supervision. But this one works better, so I'm kind of pleased. Gosh, the river is busy today, guys. Quite a few punters, actually, because it's not that cold. So, most people are making the most of it, I suppose. Look at them all go. Look at that. Down the river again. Rehearsals at Emmanuel today. Here we are. Should be in the right place. Oh, that's a heavy door. Whoa. Say hi! <laughs> Everybody meet ya! She's a first year, she's architectural. Mm -hmm. It's Sydney Sussex. It's Sydney Sussex. And we're in the middle of rehearsal right now. We just went to the loose. Oh, look at that one. Like, before they call you if, um, if anything you need to get. Oh my god. And then when they call you. I'm so jealous of Jen's feet. Jen's feet, guys. Like, how are your feet so nice? Yeah. My feet are not nice. They're too broad. What? Yeah, way too broad. Broad? Yeah. No, they're not, they're so nice. Yeah. They're like feet to die for. Yeah. Aren't they? You should see my brothers. It's He has the ballet body. Really? Yeah, perfect. Want to see this? <laughs> <laughs> Look what I just made for my lunch today, guys. Here's an off cup. I ate all the rest. I made a little salad on the side. I've got jam and peanut butter here. And I just made some peanut butter jam so like pb jelly banana wraps and oh my gosh they taste so good welcome to the fitzpatrick hall guys it's this massive room you might have seen it in my vlogs before i'm not sure i don't think you have actually but it's pretty big it's got like balcony viewing areas up there just eating my apple which i actually just got from sainsbury's just went to sainsbury's now I'm going to rehearse my solo and stretch out, hence why I've got my yoga mat with me. Emily brought me dope bars when she came and I still got some left in my fridge. Which is good, they are so good, give me so much energy. Great for refueling. Oops, just made from dates and notes. Okay, so I'm currently in the process of filling my bowl. Um, here are my veggies here, which I'm just putting in. Um, this is a bit of couscous and I've got my chips in there. I'm gonna put some spinach in. But I also got these really cool things from Sainsbury's today because they were like reduced, as you can see. Student life, hashtag. And um, they're like butternut squash waffles. Squaffles. Ooh, interesting. So I just bought them, but I looked on Google. You can eat it raw and it tastes really good, so I'm probably gonna have them. strawberries i saw them and i was like i have no strawberries in so long so i had to get them h&p guys we got them on my porridge this morning it's gonna be good so good and of course guys i always have my side plate with more fruit because gotta get that fruit in Hey guys, I just got back from lectures this morning and I am now off to go and meet somebody. Hey everyone, this is Joe. Look, everyone knows Hiya. who Joe is. Doing, if right? you don't know Joe, he's at Fit and he's a vlogger as well. Look at this contraption. Wham, wham. Look at that. that this is, is like vlogception insane. though. This what? is like nuts vlogception. Why? That's the thing. Because the people watching this now, yeah. some of them would have watched what. Yeah, I know, exactly. That, that, I think that's quite cool. That is quite cool. That is pretty cool. We're gonna like, where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? We're gonna learn to be vegan in a cafe. Yeah. There's a vegan cafe, you know the rainbow place? Yeah, it's over, over there. Here. But there vegan. is also, um, I don't know, there's Itsu do vegan stuff. Itsu? Sushi. Yeah, do you like sushi? Yeah, I don't mind. We can oh, go Oh, there's other places, we can look around, but yeah. We're gonna, gonna teach you how to be vegan. You're teaching me how to be vegan? Yeah. Nuts. Definitely. It's so easy, it's not even hard. I'm going to the vegan cafe, guys. Okay, what do we do? Okay, so we got um, a drink in the vegan cafe. I've gone full vegan now. It's, a, it's officially a thing. <laughs> yeah, what did you get? You got a coffee. I got a vegan cappuccino. With it was soy great. milk. Did it taste any different? 
It, no, it actually didn't. No, no, it did. It tastes really good, like less creamy. Okay. I was a fan. But it was good. It was good. I'm now I got fully um, vegan. a mango drink. And now we're going to go to Itsu because, you know, those avocado sushi rolls are just calling me. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> right, okay. Let's go. I'm going to die. I'm not going to die. Right. Let's go. No, you're not going to die. Not like that. It's like, we need to be careful when we're crossing the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this, guys. Yeah. Amazing. Good. 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 Look at that face. Hey, sushi. Listen, I won't lie. I feel a bit embarrassed to eat in front of you because I'm like a really messy eater. And every time I put one piece of sushi in my mouth, it's like, like <laughs> my whole cheek just kind of explodes, and I feel a bit stupid. I really care. Wait. Do you do you do you ever acknowledge the? So I'm... Mm, it's so good. It's sort of too freezing right now, guys, and um, trying to get a picture on the grass. But you're not allowed on the grass. I'm trying to break the rules. That's Joe Vine is making me break the rules, guys. It's not, it's not cool. Right. Right. Oh, wait. Oh. It's snowing. Oh. Is it? It's snowing. Look. It's bloody freezing. And I just took. We just took our jackets off to get a picture because, you know, you have to do these things. Did we do anything? I don't think so. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Which, where are you going? Which way? I um, I need to get my bike from Queens. Oh yeah, okay, um, cool. And then I'm going to, what's it called? Gonna <laughs> do some work <laughs> with Harry, I think. Okay, right. The cappuccino. Cool. Oh, wait. Wait, okay. should, I, should I grab it? Should I hold you it? You can hold it. You oh my God, no it. way. Oh my God, hi, how you doing? You all right? What's going on? Wham! Ah, oh, look at the angles. Angles, yeah, basically you have to get, try and get good angles. Thing. It's all about angles. All about angles. All Life's about angles. angles. Let's go on this way. We're done here. Um, but yeah, what do you want to do? You have to check out Joe's channel, guys. Go check out Joe. Because when he leaves Cambridge, he's going to be vlogging. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be exciting. And. Oh! Yes! Sweetness save. 10 out of 10 for that. That was so great. I want to be friends with them. Should Same. we go back? Let's go back. <laughs> right. Guys, we are ready now to go look at Emily's lipstick. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, I think they're pretty. Well, I'm just wearing black dress and I'm wearing this top that I won't like. <laughs> and I forget that I wear that. But anyway, we're gonna go to 